Welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to calculate the percent composition of a compound. Now, the percent composition is basically just the percent of every element that is present in the compound calculated by mass. So, for example, let's say our compound was water, H2O. Well, the percent composition would tell me what percentage of water is hydrogen by mass and what percentage of the compound is oxygen by mass. Now you might recall that any percentage is basically just the part that you're interested in divided by the whole or the total number times 100. So let's say you had a jar of coins and you wanted to know what percent of those coins is quarters. Well the part you're interested in is the quarters so you would add up the total number of all the quarters and then you divide that by the whole or the total number of all of the coins times 100, and that would tell you the percent of the jar of coins that are quarters. Well, on a compound, it's the same way. So if I want to know the percentage that was hydrogen, I would take the mass of all of the hydrogen, and I would divide that by the total, which is what we learned in the previous lessons, called the molar mass. And then I multiply that by 100, and that gives me the percent of hydrogen. So perhaps the best way to demonstrate is just to do a simple example here. So let's look at H2S. So what's the percent composition of H2S? Well, I need to know the mass of all of the hydrogen and the mass of all of the sulfur. Well, we have two hydrogens. So two hydrogens, each of those weighs 1.01. .01. We got one sulfur. So one sulfur, that has a mass of 32.07. So the total mass of hydrogen is 2.02, .02. the total mass of sulfur is 32.07, and the molar mass for the whole compound, we add those together and we get 34.09. Okay, well what's the percentage that's hydrogen? Well again, it's the total mass of the element that we're interested in, in our case hydrogen, divided by the total mass of the compound, or the molar mass. So 2.02 .02 is the total mass of hydrogen, divided by 34.09 is the total mass of the compound times 100 because it's a percentage. So H2S is 5.93% hydrogen. How about the percent of sulfur? Well, the total mass of sulfur, there was only one, so it's 32.07, divided by the total mass for the compound, again, was 34.09. So we take that times 100. This is four sig figs over four sig figs this time, so 94.07% oxygen. Now one quick way that you can always kind of check your answer to make sure it makes sense is to add your percentages together, and they should add up to be 100%. You might be off by a hundredth or so, just because of significant digits. So if you get 100.01 or 99.99, that's probably close enough. Okay, so how about number two here? Well, C6H12O6, this is a compound you might have heard of called glucose. This is a sugar that's used in our body as an energy source. So the percent composition means I want to find the percent carbon, the percent hydrogen, and the percent oxygen. Okay, well, what's the total mass of the carbon? Well, I have six carbons, and they have a mass of 12.01 each. So six times 12.01. That's a total of 72.06. For hydrogen, I have 12 hydrogens. Those have a mass of 1.01, .01, so 12 times 1.01. .01. That's a total mass of 12.12. 12. And then for oxygen, I have six of those. And those have a mass of 16.00 which is a total of 96.00. So we add those together, and the total mass of our compound comes out to be 180.18. Okay, well what's the percentage of carbon? Well, it's the total mass of all of the carbons, all six carbons, so 72.06, divided by the total mass of the compound. So the part we're interested in, carbon, over the whole, 180.18 times 100. So this gives me 39.99% carbon. 
Okay, how about the percent of hydrogen? Well, the total mass of all 12 hydrogens was right here, 12.12, .12, divided by the total mass of the entire compound, 180.18, and again, times 100 because it's a percentage. So it's 6.727% hydrogen. And how about the percentage of oxygen? Well, the total mass of all six oxygens was 96.00. So 96.00 divided by the total of the compound was 180.18. And again, times 100. So 53.28% oxygen. So there you have it. This is the percent composition for glucose broken down by percent carbon, percent hydrogen, and percent oxygen. Okay, so one final example. This is iron 2 phosphate. So the percent composition means I want to find the percentage that's iron by mass, phosphorus by mass, and oxygen by mass. So iron, well we have three irons. Iron has a mass of 55.85, so three times 55.85. So the total of that would be 167.5. Five. Phosphorus, well we have two phosphorus, so two times the mass of phosphorus, which is 30.97. So two times 30.97 is 61.94. And how many oxygens do we have? Well we have two times four, so eight. And we saw oxygen is 16.00, so 8 times 16.00. That's a total of 128.00. So we add those together, and the molar mass of iron 2 phosphate is 357.49. So that means the percentage of iron by mass is equal to the total mass of iron, which was 167.55, divided by the total mass of the compound, which we just found was 357.49. And then of course, because it's a percentage, we have to multiply by 100. So it's 46.868% iron by mass. The percent of phosphorus. Well, the total mass of phosphorus was 61.94. So 61.94 divided by 357.49. And again, times 100 tells me it's 17.33% phosphorus. And the percent oxygen, well the total mass of oxygen was 128.00 divided by our total molar mass, 357.49. And once again times 100 leaves me 35.805% oxygen by mass. And you'll notice just quickly that iron had five significant figures and five significant figures, so the answer had five. Same with oxygen, but phosphorus had 4 and 5, so the answer has 4. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick video lesson on percent composition. Be sure and click on that thumbs up button if you liked it, and leave us a comment down below. And we'll see you next time at GetChemistryHelp.com. Thank you.